Gatewater Hotel. September 9th, 6th, the Gatewater Hotel. Room 
the top 10 episode I ever heard. Uh -huh. so you're the one that Zay have been looking for me. Um, yeah, that's me. It's even grander than I imagined. Mm -hmm. That badge on your collar. That badge on your collar. So, you're a lawyer, are you? No. Yes, well, yes. And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please proceed. If you're not busy, then how come no one can get in touch with you? Something the matter. You can't even see the one known in Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Know? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out with it. Um, well, sir, thanks to you about my my affair. Ah, uh, yes, my my affair. Go on. Why the strange reaction? I, 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 cha I'm really quite busy here, son. I, I can't go take a ga case on day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. Wait, wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? Er, uh, um, any, anyways, I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her, sorry. And it's disgusting. What's going on? You excuse me before I even got a chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? How can you just appear like that? Please tell me why you won't go take the case. Yeah, you see, it's just I, I'm busy with this new client. It's my only space sister. It shows me that she can press through me in hands. Yes, of course, I, I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I'm not just a few so sorry. Goodbye. What do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry. But I'm afraid that no lawyer or the assault will take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my lawyer. Why? I, I cannot, I cannot say. I beg your pardon, but could, could you leave? What's the best for me? She didn't work here for a long time ago. Quite different. I think she's a legal matter. She was one day, but suddenly. And then she had a mission to say.
Excuse me, what? That was the thing. My sister told me. What? It's been a long time before the state and current of Doya comes up with. If you've no need of anything, you'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as well. Enjoy. Yeah, wait. No, hey. Why does it seem like every time I come in, I hear you may have been as well? Wait, wait, now I just sleep around a bit. Oh, you got. Yeah, you came back quick. I ask you to inform Miss May that there's a message for her. Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Court found. Oh, right, sir. Mr. White of Blue Court? Where have I heard that name? What's the name of the guy who who let me in? Me and Maya's fuck mother. Could it be a coincidence? <laughs> what do we have here? Uh, a wiretap. Tell me why. Yes, sir, I'd have no evidence to. Hmm, Detective, Detective Gumption, please testify this to the court about this hard evidence. <laughs> As soon as the phone call came in, I must have seen. There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Myfrey, the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix, I immediately arrested Miss Myfrey. Why? We had a witness account 
Hey, Maya just threw something at me. What's this? My sister can find it. She wishes to witness this. How much money? She would bluff it and cash the design every detail. But this always slips up and says something. Wrong. It works lots of times. Heh, I should have known my notion of sister's tricks. Alright, let's give this a try. Something the matter? No, you are. I'd like to begin my cross examination. Was from a customer at the Gatewater Hotel, right across from the back. Okay, that crust. Not sure it didn't. Right, please continue. Hold it! Detective, how long have you been to the machine? You've never seen it before, and you've never seen it before. Right, I'd say it was about three minutes. Yeah, that's pretty fast. Uh, model, this Which month is. Quick response, the target got the. Suspicious she is, she sure isn't pink, pal. Well, I guess she is pink. That's enough, Detective Gumshoe. Do you have any more solid proof other than her claims, Detective? Um, hmm. I guess pressing can have its advantages. Yes. Yeah! Sorry, I got I got the order of things messed up in my design. Right, sorry. There's something I should have told you first, Your Honor. There you go, Detective. Is here your testimony again? After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was clearly in blood. That, that test result showed that the victim was murdered. Also, there was blood found on the victim's body. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. How do you like that? That's my hard evidence. Hmm. Before we begin cross stimulation, I have a question. Why didn't you just buy about this fine piece of evidence the first time? Uh, yeah, yeah I know. I'm a little embarrassed that I forgot about it, Honor. Try to be more careful. Well, very well. The defense may begin to ask the ambulance some. I'm 
refuse to test line this battle panel. I'm no expert on blood tests. Detective Gumshoe, there's one thing I want you to clarify for me here. You say the victim, Mia Fey, wrote this note, that she was accusing the defendant, Mia Fey? That's really what you're saying? What? What? This isn't one of those lawyer tricks now, is it? Of course you wrote it. Who else could have wrote it? You have it backwards, Detective. Backwards? The victim is the one who, the person who absolutely could not have written it. This is a report from your department, Detective. Immediate death due to blow, blow from blood pumped. She died immediately. But no button your way out of this one. Order, order. The defense has a point. Someone who died immediately wouldn't have time to write in. Mr. Wright, I beg your pardon, but what exactly did it day? Find this and get that on top of your butt. Day after the murder. Day after the murder. Prosecution squad being. That autopsy report. Yes. Out. The fuck you mean outdated? What? The, you, what? What? A second autopsy report was performed on this day at my request. Death was almost immediate. No blows, no blinds, objects. But there is a possibility that the victim did it for several minutes after the blow. I received his results. No way! Your Honor, that's quite easy to imagine that the victim did have time to write Maya. That is all. I see. Damn you, Edgeworth. I should have known you have something to perceive. Why, Mr. Wright, you look shocked? Something you want to say? Mr. Edgeworth, I've heard there's nothing you want to do to get the What reason could you possibly have to Right, the defense will refrain from personal attacks and the prosecution. No matter if you are honored. Mr. Wright, say what you will. The evidence in this report is not mine. Your Honor, I submit this report to the court. I'm not sure that the court accepts the evidence. Well, Your Honor, the evidence strongly suggests the victim was actually found guilty. Is that what's the obvious conclusion? Yes. Damn, this isn't good. The prosecution would like to call its next witness this poor innocent girl. But the witness, Miss Maple Mage, takes in exactly what part of her is innocent. Tell us, where were you in the night of September 5th when the murder occurred? Um, 
Wait, Your Honor. Yes, that's right. What about my cross examination? I, I thought the witness's testimony just now was quite firm, didn't you? Mr. Wright, I understand you are missing me a face. Understood, you not. You must know her techniques well. The cowardly ways of finding tiny faults in perfectly good testimonies. Hey, how dare you? Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross examine the witness? Oh, glad he proceeded with cross examination. She has to have some weakness. Very well, you may begin, you may begin in cross examination. It was like, hold it! Why did you do that? Huh? Like, why, why, why? Why'd you look out the window? Were you expecting to see something? Oh, well, the tree! What? That's it? She can't get out of the crash land easily. I'm sort of, you know. Well, I have a feeling she's trying to avoid the crash. Maybe I should trust her. Surely you must have a reason to pick up at that time of night. Ah, oh! Objection! Mr. Wright, I will not have you badgering my witness. Badgering? Insist on needing needling her with just troubling her questions. I really don't think it should be allowed. Yeah, yeah, stop him! Order! Mr. Wright, you have been warned. Oh, a girl? What the fuck with me? You looked out the window, what did you see next? Hold it! The one with my hair being that was going this way. Yes, then the shoulder goes. It's not even my same tree. Don't you think? Yup, yup, what do you think? The peasant tag. Hold it! How do you know she was the defendant? Well, you know, she had a guilty. This testimony, that testimony stinks! What? Miss May, I'm going to bet that. Are you telling the truth? Did you really see the defendant? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wright, what's the meaning of this? Yes, what's the meaning? So you don't become out clues about this, I mean. Okay, if you had really witnessed my client, right, Faye, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. Hey. No one wears clothes like this on a daily basis except her. I'm no expert on fashion, but her hair looks far from normal for me. However, the witness's testimony mentions neither of these things. The testimony is bogus. But, but... Still, we don't know if she was dressed that way the night of the murder. She was, you are. I saw her. So did Detective Gumption. What do you say to that, Miss May? <laughs> Roar! Hold it! So, you saw me there too. 
Stop me there, the trial would be over. Huh? What? So, what happens now? What happens now is you answer my question. How did you know it was a clock? What? That, that, that's because uh, I, heard, I heard it? Yes, I heard it! I heard it say the time! So, you've been to the lot, lot, lots as a panko? What? Hey, I didn't, I didn't say that. Why did I know that? Take a look at this right now. Whoa! See anything interesting? You want it? It's, it says the it says this clock is missing its clockwork. It's quite empty. <laughs> Mr. Wright, would you care to explain to the court the meaning of this? It is as you can see, the clock was empty. It couldn't have been. It couldn't have been wrong. Therefore, the bit this is, is a big fat liar. <laughs> Well, Miss May. Quite hmm? a show you put on for us, Mr. Wright. He knew the clock was empty. Somehow he knew. I'm afraid you forgot one thing. Indeed, the clock is empty. Let's just say, we can't. 
again today. However, you must ask, when was the clock moving? It was after the moon was set up. There's no contradiction. That is that's true, but I think that is what the clock might have been after she died. But that is exactly what happened. I have proof. What? What? What's it? You, you told me proof is everything. Well, I'll show you. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much. Evidence of proof. Hey, huh? Take a look at this. That's a very cute cell phone. Whoa! You have a girly phone. Wait, dang! This isn't my phone. Listen, this is the defendant's cell phone, and it contains a recording. A recording of a conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder. Order, order. The defendant's cell phone! This wasn't brought to my attention! Perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it. Shit. I gotta say, I'm starting to feel bad for the big fella. Let's hear this conversation. Beep. So you just want me to hold on to the thinker for you, then? If you could. Ah, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take out the clock with her. Sorry. September 5th, 9, 9.27 a.m. I think this makes me feel good. The time was... The clock was already gone by the time of the time. Which was well before the witness even arrived at her hotel. <laughs> well, Miss May, would you care to explain this? Just how did you know that weapon was a clock? What? What about the clock? This is 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 The contradicts the piece of evidence already submitted to this court from both of the museum. Take that! It's simple. This clock was never in any store, ever. What? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world. The one that disappears in the police custody. Impossible. Everything is sold in stores. Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. <laughs> Excuse is not on sale today. What's it to you, Pokemon Head? <laughs> that stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? Cheated! I need a diamond! Ah! Whoa, whoa! Let's not get too, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is a court of law, the windows will remain cold. Sure that it is, objective. It troubles me that our witness was in possession of a wiretap. This 
is outrageous. That's not the best truly thing you know this is happening about. Absolutely! Even if that was the case, which was not, you still have to do one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a problem? On the phone? Can you prove that? I think not. Oh yeah? I think I can. It's simple. What? Here's my proof. Thank you, so you time. Miss April May, you used the wiretap to listen into this conversation. That's how you knew to think it was a clock. Am I wrong? Injection! Your Honor, this is ridiculous. Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? The defense said demands an answer. <laughs> witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? Miss May! SHUT UP, ALL OF YOU! WHY GIVE YOU THE RIGHTS TO ME BY THEN? YOU, YOU LAWYER! Hey, it's, it's no fair. Oh, you can't help me like that. Oh, I'm so glad I'm back, okay? That is fair, 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 fair. That did it. The got seen the real me. Now deal the final blow. Why didn't you tap the phone? Answer the question! Do I have to? This is a private charm? Is it Timmy Timmy? Yeah, she's saying exactly what I was trying to say. phone. I had to call that irrelevant. Well, the court does not have to know the defense's tone of voice. He has a point. Well, Miss May, do you have a conversation with this? Can you prove you had nothing to do with Chapter phone. Ah, I like to see her pull that off. Miss Boy, that's not any How the fuck? Damn, she's good. You can't be serious. No way. Way, I say. Way. Why would I treat you? I'm serious, Miss Boy. <laughs> okay, so the deal that happened about nine or nine, right? Well, wow, that's just what I was getting room supposed to that sweet bell on. Room service? Ass coffee, I believe it was. Ass coffee? You know, like normal coffee, but cold. If you don't drink it quick, the ass melts, then you have regular cold coffee. I, ice coffee? I think I'm making this up, that's the bellboy. Wink. There you go. The witness was not on the scene at the, at the time of the murder. <laughs> So where does that leave us? It's my first player of some that the witness appears to have been tapping the witness's telephone. The victim's telephone. However, this is a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. Her testimony stands. She saw the defendant, Maya Faye, commit murder. No! Don't go into let her just walk away. There's no way I can win this unless I tie Miss May to the murder somehow. Well, does the defense have anything to say this? Well, come on, think of something. The defense would like to call the hotel over. Well, well, there's something suspicious here, and I'm going to get it to the bottom. I think you Objection! I object to calling Billboy. Why? What's your reason? Because I hold that the way it's right having had nothing to do with the with the killing. Right, but agreed to one condition. I accept the condition. The staple phase alibi is not called into question after you stay with Billboy. Thereby, you must also accept the guilt of the guilty of my faith. What? I'm about to find some solution to that. I'm about to see Maya when you can't be on the spot. What should I do? Alright, I've got nothing to lose. Understood. I accept your condition.
Very good, sir. I am the head bellboy at Fine Gate Water Hotel. I've been in business for four generations. I believe I received a call after 8 p.m. in the evening when my guest was made. She asked for an ask our fee to be brought her at the time. I'm done, sir. I brought the ticket to her and have decided to request the time, of course. I live with the ask our fee to her guest was made herself. I see. The friends were going to cross connection. Right. I'm ready. I hope. I'm sick. I can't prove Miss May was involved in that. Right now, May Maya will be finished. say ah uh, 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 uh quite bellboy tell us did miss may check in with another person objection i object that was objectionable objection overruled what is what answer the question hey right. yes why did you not mention this in your testimony well, uh, this is a yes nice try that's the sort of thing you're not you're normally supposed to mention Oh, yes. Mr. Edgeworth, you. He asked me not to mention it if I was specifically. If I wasn't specifically asked, sir. <laughs> you, you, you fool! I've done it. I've won! Just learned of another person involved who may have been a murderer. In light of this new fact, I hold that it's impossible to judge the event. What did you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? And if you Mr. Wright, who is this other person? Simple, who is. Who is. The man who 
checked in with Miss May. <laughs> Your Honor. Yes, this is weird. She's the same way as tapping the victim's phone. Yet Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the battle. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the battle. Set up, but it's too late. Too late. I suppose you'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this court. <laughs> uh, sir, uh, am I, am I sure? the, these ac accusations are, are ludicrous. Enough. The court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look into this matter fully. Am I understood? Y yes. <laughs> Yes, Your Honor. That is all for today. For the trial of Miss Meyer Fed. Court is adjourned. September 7th. 2.24 p.m. District Court. Defendant Lobby. Number one. Mr. Wright! You're amazing! Really? I think I might be your newest fan! Oh, I was just doing my job, you know. And it's... Great read in today's trial. A lead? That man with Miss May? He's the key! Oh, I heard the arrest of her. I guess she's learning for her charms won't work everywhere. She's probably at the detention center right now. Yeah, we may have to go down there later. Anyway, anyway, this case is far from closed. Yes, sir! I'm going to find out more about this man. Thank you for Maybe so. Don't worry, I'll find him by the September 7th, 3, 11 p.m., detention center for this visitor's room. Well, hello! I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. Pretty crap. Move him. Not! You stinking lawyer! I hope you die! Have you got to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fall in this man. No, not really. That's something I want to ask. Unfortunately, there isn't nothing, and there's nothing I want to be in. Have you done enough to you? Spike the head? Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. So? What's it then? What, the, what is it you wish to ask me? So, I just get the control so totally whack. How about the man who stayed with you? Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose! Maybe if I had something to do Why did you place the fire tap on this man? Let me assume. I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. I Just a fucking painting. 
Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on that wall? Yeah, it was a painting of... Photos, there are two down here. Something in the DLC six DL six incident makes it. Like prevention of the off the thick of the shoot on site. The police really gave this place a weapon under. I got the same guy with clues left. Suppose you can't have to take a look behind it. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Mm. Oh, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, 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 not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the gatewaters rep as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation will swell as the hotel where the murderer used the wiretap. We can charge a premium for the room. Of course, it will be great business. Sir. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I, I too, will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murderer is iced coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? So, go on, I guess. Please let me know if I'm being interesting. I want to ask what. Ah, yes. I'm stuck in the answer wheel later. Detective Lunt, you know how it is. No, no, I don't. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I write an affidavit, affidavit, swearing that that's him? Uh, in a bit of it, this guy's way too excited about this. Well, sure, why not? Yes, I've always wanted to write an affidavit. So, I'm here for all that, you know. Sorry, I have to write it. The only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now. You don't have spiky hair. You also have a spiky hair. That does it. <laughs> when this, is, this case is done, I'm shaving my head. <laughs>
solve them, why don't you? Somehow I think you're not up. Show them a little kindness and they will. Myself and I was a youth. I guess something got passed down from here, maybe. That brings back memories, it does. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. I apologize. I. It was all a bit too much for me, boy. Seeing you today, I. Well, I. I appreciate the reminiscing, but I'd much rather you give me some information. So you came to see the trouble? Yes, yes, I did. Something was bothering me all last night, you see. September 7th, Blue Company, CEO's offices. What's with the surreal title? Welcome, please furnish me with the title of your personage. What the? Your name? What's your name? I was just inquirably asking that title you go by. Oh, right, Phoenix Wright. Inquirably? Mr. Wright, is it? Ah, right, I see. Splendorific, splendorific. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my giant tusk vocabulary. What is this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp, you know, corporate expansion official. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I'm not used to conversing with the word they changed. What a fruitcake. Hmm, let me guess. 
You are an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Knives. How did I see that? Some just a ridiculous. I have no interest in anything but originals. That right there is a bona fide original. Worth five million for sure. Hmm. A statue of a man. Some sign secondly stands out. Try prize. What judge is special kind of thing though? This is the top floor. I'm trying to go confused by presidential. I guess it's supposed to be a desk in my mind. This is quite a good thing. It's modeled on my mind. So, well, it does its way around a job to inspire you. It does not. your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, uh, a lawyer? No, my feeble friend. A mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zilch. Zippo. Nada. Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney, Grody Burger. What? What? Ah. What the? Uh, duh. He punched me. He, he fucking assaulted me. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what were you doing? Charge me with assault. Charge you will be found guilty. What? In my exposition, the police of course they all do my bidding. So you say, but I wonder if it's actually possible. I don't expect you to understand it's a world beyond your compensation. You came here from Brody Burgers, I suppose. Yes. Then you must ask him, why isn't that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps you will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Go now, skedaddle. There's nothing more to discuss. Huh? I don't think he's noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clean my throat. Ahem! Chomping Jehoshaphat! Chomping Jehoshaphat! 
Oh, you. What's wrong? You look so pensive, like an old man at the end of his days. I'm not, I'm not senile yet. I was just thinking about the, this whole mess. Something's like really bothering him. It's totally here. So, I pay Boo for a visit. Oh, 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 I see. Mr. Postman, I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh, what is it? Well, I'll let my body see. It's just... <laughs> Mr. White has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail. I think that the meeting is fairly gaudy proof. Very well. This may be the chance I've been waiting for. Maybe it's time to get this off my chest so I can find the STZ again. After all, you were me as understudy, perhaps you escape. What's he talking about? Red White is a man who makes his living to intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying you 15 years ago. 15 years? All because of the DL6 until it's a good show. I suppose I should not stand in front of my business. Why would it destroy me if I did? That's the connection. It's hard for me not to play on the way you're trying to do. There's no way to be not impossible. Impossible? Why? information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They are bound and unable to do Do harm to themselves and they will do that. So look at that when you see his mother on the way to the red room. Hey, what are you doing? What is the deal six? It's so good. Please get the case of his 50 years old. No pseudo custom medium. A medium? Her name was Misty Faye. Faye? Indeed. She was from the other one. She had to investigate the other one. She had to request the police. And she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. I asked her about the other day. I did all I could. I did all I could. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case. Why, why were you blackmailing this? Mr. Hunter, the DL6 is top secret at the time. It made sense to police were not on the media. They couldn't let people know what one person found out. I, I told them that. You told White. He offered me riches. It's best to put it down. As I talked, the police were locked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, Mr. White heard about it. He came to me. Stops there. So 
me a new ghost card. The accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. p.m. Detention center for visitors room. I believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's going to be going to set a trap for me. 
prosecution will be on it. In on it, of course, I just included. An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Hooray! Mr. Ray! Oh, hi. Great. They let you out of the center. Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. Huh, no, I'm afraid of just places. What? You mean you? I explained what had happened to, to Maya. I don't believe in you. Not many people have stepped in to destroy before he's satisfied. My mother, my sister, and now me. This has gone too far. Mr. Ray, please tell me he's not even having to do it. Um, well. Help me break out of here. Wait! Wait, wait. What? 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 I'm kidding! It was a joke! No way! No, really, I was kidding, but thanks. Thanks. It's good enough. I found that I enjoyed it. I didn't even know what you're reading. But my bag ain't good. I just can't sit here and do nothing. I've got a picture of me and a piece of my mom. Just a piece? Okay. Then, come to the trial tomorrow. Okay. I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. Times may change. Yep. This crime is the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, the limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finished in the day, and most were the guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself for this case. With the true culprit appearing as the star witness. This is it. Tomorrow it's me or him. I'm back, I'm back. Guilty. End of story. I was afraid to remember the story. 
Why? Why? How can you charm an innocent person like this? It, it, it is. How do we know that? Guilty or not, I'm just dying to avoid me. There's no way to tell who's guilty and who's innocent. All that I can also do is get defendant guilty. Defendant guilty. Defendant guilty. So I make that my policy. That's right. You've changed. Examination. Yes, Your Honor. Hold it! How do you know what time it was? Because I'm always absolutely perfect, you know. No, 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 no. You're not getting away with that. You are so mistrusting, Mr. Lawyer. So close to Prop 10 for Secretary again. 
Wait, wait, this phase.
Mr. Wright, what are you, what are you suggesting? Rapscallion! Objection! The po postulations of the defense are distortion of the truth, Your Honor. Indeed, these things seem to be far fetched. Uh huh. You provide us so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. But now, staffing. The hilarity of the moment made me put something. It appears that I have been clear to this. I apologize. Me, Mr. Lawyer, I have to testify once more. Very well. Let's hear your advice, testimony. Good luck. You can't fix a broken testimony, buddy. Mr. Space, that's was correct, that's just fine. You were so good at first went to the right. And then you hit her savagely, that is what I saw. Next, she was she with the last of her strength, she ran to the right, and you chased her into the middle of the night. But I will. Hold it! What do you mean by that? You Americans are always so impatient, does not become. Hey, buddy, you're an American too. Hold it. Friendly fire will not be tolerated. What do you mean, burst? Burst? That is what comes next. You were speaking this way, please, to back legs, I said. I didn't hit anyone! No, no, Mr. Wright, there's no point in hiding. I'm not hiding anything! The prosecution said because the defense refrained from interrupting the testimony. Mr. Wright, why is he mad at me? Next week's this. Hold it! What do you mean, next? Next is what comes after first. I know that! Then that is all you need to know, Mr. Lawyer. As I said, she turned and made a rush from that to the right. Hold it! Stop saying it was me! But it was Objection! Mr. Wright, if you claim it was that, it was not you that chose to come back, and I do nothing, right? Nothing? Yeah, I can tell you. Holy fuck! See, each of you saw different things. I'm so positive with it. Mr. White, the victim died from a single blow. What do you have to say to that? Uh, uh. Now's my chance to get him where it counts. Mr. White, wasn't it you who told this one you were absolutely perfect? I will refrain from using this phrase from now on, Your Honor, if you can guess that this one is. Objection! The way this is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to request a 10 minute break. Objection! The witness is confused because he's lying! I am I emphatically request that there will be no point here. Yeah, we want justice! Don't let him get away! Very well. If the witness really cares to revise the testimony, the crowd's on my side. No slipping out of this one, Mr. White. Mr. White? Mr. White! Jesse! Okay. Two accounts. 
Oh, well, see, I looked at the other window when I heard the thing fall, but then the next moment I saw Mia. Miss Mia went to the left to kill him. Attacked her, and then she dodged. Then, um, she, then she turned and ran for the door. Then you did her in with a single blow. Thwap! Hmm. Thwap indeed. Well, me, 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 my, my stomach, you see, it's, it is hurting. Deal with it. <laughs> this is almost over. Uh. That thing fall? What exactly was that thing? Huh? Oh, what? Oh, that, that, well, the, the, the glass lights then, right? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that is a Is the white? What? What? You're saying you saw the like, glass lights then fall? Yes. Then change your testimony to reflect that. So, sorry, my bad. I'm gonna just roll a vice to see. Okay, okay. Lights then. Mr. White? It was impossible for you to have seen the glass stand. What? Look at this. He's, he's done the floor to the scene of the murder, yes? Correct, Your Honor. Now look. If you were to look through the window of the office, this is the area you'll be able to see. Here. Well, note that the stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. White. What do you have to say to that? <laughs> it's a ridiculousity. Mr. White, if you were at the Gateway Water Hotel, you could not have seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell either. There was no way you could have recognized the broken glass shards as a glass light stand. So, when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment that it fell! The only place you could have seen that from is inside the Bay Law. In other words, you had to see the crime and the murder took place! Mr. White? Mr. White? You did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor? I, I, Miss Mia? <laughs> Looks like we're about to. Objection! That's fair enough. What? I, I, I forgot about Andrew. Mr. White, I think the time is good. Shouldn't you confess your crime now? What? 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 I said you should have confessed your crime now. Confess that you placed the wire attack. It's the wire attack? Order, order. Mr. Edgeworth, explain to the court what you mean by this. Members of the court. Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. I really like to do this. As you know, Mr. White is CEO of Blue Court. He ordered his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the offices of Miss Fay. What does that have to do with Your Honor? The question is, when was the White tap placed in the office? By who? No! You wouldn't! Mr. 
white. You don't have to face the white attack. You can just face up. I correct. Correct. You are most correct, Miles. Give me a break. Yeah, so no one place the white attack. I reached the bank go off. That is when I saw the curse of white stand. Now I'm confused. Please explain to the corporal and all this means, Mr. Andrew. Love you. Mr. Phoenix White has made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass there was a place. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White was stand from the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. White Wright would like you to believe that Mr. White was the Revealed for better basis conjecture. <laughs> Mr. White, you have testified to the court about this wiretapping. I am able to hear. I, 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 I feel faint. It was the beginning of September. I had had the three. Of course, I had done so. So you saw the light stand before the night of the incident. And this is how you were able to identify what had fallen over by the sound? Correct, that is right. I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. Yeah, what am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix. Good luck, Phoenix. Hold it! Did, did, did you have proof? Tell me I've run out of ammo! I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. The time has come to you to admit your defeat. You fought honorably. No more. I, I can't, I can't say this anymore. Mr. Wright, are you, are you giving up? Y yes, your honor. Phoenix! Phoenix, over here! I know that voice. Mia! Never give up, Phoenix! Stay the week before. 
thought about it. There you go! Celebrities? That's when it happened. Stop! This is assault! Please stop! Make him stop! How, how, did, how did you get that list? Mr. Mr. White, admit your guilt right here, right now! Your sister will be released in press! I confess! I confess! I, I did it! I, I hit her! I hit Miss Mia with. 
the thinker. Case closed, Yana. Well, I see no reason to take this trial, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. You've done it again! That was quite a spirited defense. Y yes, Your Honor. I guess you could say that. If only you knew how spirited it was. Well, this court finds the defense. <laughs> well, the, the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright, not guilty! That is all the court has adjourned. <laughs> September 9th, 2.24 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again. Well, congratulations, Lucky I was born a I'm lucky I have both you and my on my side. Disgrace me for the last time, Steel Samurai. The pale moon in the sky cries for your blood. The moon? No, oh, it's huge. Game, but gaze upon the moon. But it will be the last moon you will ever see. See 
you in hell, you will not get straight. Whoa! Grrrr! The warrior sword gleam. Strike in the moonlight. One has fallen, but who? Only the moon knows. Don't miss next week's exciting episode. The Dark Messenger Returns. October 14th. 5.31 p.m. Right in Co. Law Offices. Whoa, stop waving that broom around. Whoa, oh, hey, 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 hey. Of course I'm here. What was that surreal show you were watching? What? Nick, you mean you don't know the still sing, right? It's really the most private TV here for young people. Young? Like, how young? Um, 10 years old. What the heck are you doing getting all excited? Hey, I'm only 17. That's 17. See, you're a teen, not like you, Nick. Hey, don't talk to me like a grandpa or something. I'm only 24 myself. Wright's bedroom. Bring, bring. Hello? Is this Phoenix? Nick! Maya? What? It's still Lily! <laughs> it's the same Samurai! It's the same Samurai! I got arrested! Huh? You mean the, the guy on the show? Yes! The same! It's the Samurai! I killed the villain! Um, isn't that what he's supposed to do? Yeah! On TV! Yeah, on, on TV. No! I mean, he's the he he's guy! He's killing his family! He's killing his family! He's killing his I have absolutely no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Just <laughs> crazy, I'm just quick! Please, Nick! October 16th, 9.22 a.m. Right in Cola offices. I am here watching television. Now for the morning news. The actor Will Powers was arrested recently. Powers played the video role in the popular kids show, The Steel Samurai. Warrior of Neo Old Villain known as the Evil Magistrate. His body was found still inside the Evil Magistrate. The Samurai Spear was also found stuck through the body. Police believe this is the murder of an hour investigating the threat. This has to be a joke. No! 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 It's, it's a murder! This room. Wolverine? What's wrong, Maya? It's him, in the flesh. Oh, is that, is that guy really him? What do you mean, that guy? Of course it's him. Will Powers, a client, that's him. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's saying this, but he definitely did it. Murder, at least twice, maybe. 
At least once, maybe twice. Whoa, 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 hang out. Hang on, what are you saying? Um. Gee, yes? Something wrong? No. This is gone off. Good. Hey, stop. I know, I know. You're disappointed, not at you. Disappointed? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. This is the. This is the. This is the. This is the real me. Uh, but I got the crown of the steel samurai with that with that mask. I, I decided I would never show my face in public until my job was over. It's the kids, you know. I, I didn't want to wreck their dreams. Oh, oh, oh. I, I guess it. I guess it didn't matter. So so much for dreams. I wonder what they think of steel samurai now. What? Nick. What? Yeah. He didn't do it! This guy is nice. He's frozen in all his powers! Smile for the camera! Maybe you could start by telling us what happened. Thank you. 